So as you guys have probably seen in my previous videos, I have this 30 gallon tank with about 80 fry. These guys are getting to juvenile stage, but I have about 80 fish in here, which is a lot of fish. I'm actually working on selling some of these right now. And then in my other tank, and then in this 10 gallon, I have a ton more Pseudotrophius de Masoni and a couple of Trophius fry in here too. These guys are about a, they're, I think they're about a week and a half or two weeks old in this one. And then in my other main tank, the females I stripped about a week and a half, two weeks ago, they're all holding and they're pretty much ready to get stripped again. Uh, I have a hell of a time filming some of these females, but I managed to get this one here on your bottom right there. She's holding and you can see her jaw moving. So she's, I don't know if there's actually, if the eggs have hatched and she's got fry, but I mean, in the next few days, that fish will be ready to strip. I just cannot believe how quickly these Pseudotrophius de Masoni, they reproduce. So I'd like to describe the conditions of this tank. And I want people to be clear, I'm not prescribing this is how you do it. I'm just describing what my tank is like. And it might help you out uh, with your imbunas. But my pH is pretty much 8.3 all year round. My GH is about 300 milligrams per liter ppm, same difference. I keep my temperature about 80 degrees Fahrenheit and my water change schedule is about 80% per week. And so I have done quite a bit of research into what the Rift Lakes look like in terms of water chemistry. And I know that this tank is very close to that. And this is naturally what my water is. My water comes from mountains here in Canada and it's just making love to limestone all the way up to my house. And so that's how, how hard and how alkaline my water is. But I don't know, that might help some people out, but I just wanted to shed some light on these Pseudotrophius de Masoni and I'm just blown away by how quickly they reproduce. And if you're thinking about getting into these fish, um, you know, it could be a great intro to an Ambuna and you could make some money breeding them. So this is where I want to kick it back to you guys. If you want to take the poll that's popping up on the screen right now in the top right, what is your opinion of Pseudotrophius de Masoni? I'd love to know your thoughts on them and fish do you have that is your best breeders, fish that... You just can't go wrong breeding. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I uh, look forward to reading your comments.